Hoje é So, my name's Horatio. Is a terrible start to any conversation. My dad's called John. His dad's also called John. Like, literally, the male in my family goes, John, 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 Horatio. Spot the twat. <laughs> I once asked my dad why I decided to call me Horatio, and he goes, because, son, I wanted you to have a better life than I had. Yeah, but, Dad, you haven't called fellatio for over a decade. <laughs> to make matters worse, he, he recently said that I look like the head boy of the Hitler youth. But... <laughs> no... I think that's offensive. I don't, excuse me, a bit too much from the mums over here. Christ <laughs> alive. Because I think that's offensive. I don't think I do. I think if I do look like a Nazi, I look like the kind of camp Nazi bureaucrat of the background of the film, you know, working around the typewriter. Like, I'm not one of the Nazis like these guys gunning down America's on Omaha Beach. Like, I ain't fight. Like, that's not my game, no. I'm the one who maybe bursts his control. I'm like, oh, mein Führer, the America is coming. And that's my only line for the entire film. I'm that Nazi. Yeah, got some nods of agreement. Okay, some of you're not convinced. I look like the only Nazi who got incredibly excited when he found out Hugo Boss was designing the uniforms. I like that now. <laughs> also, the pearls are so shiny. <laughs> they did dress fucking well, though. Like, no, no, no. I don't agree with all of their ideas, obviously. You know, but, well, they nationalised the railway service. It's not all bad. But, like, they dress well. It just looked good. Like, the shark, grey, ink, black. It just was... Was, have you seen Nazis these days? These sort of fat, sweaty American rednecks who are like, God hates fags are on their T-shirt. Does he hate fashion as well, mate? Jesus Christ! Like, if you're going to say you're the master race, dress to impress! So what's fun when the villains don't dress up properly, you know? I don't know. I think names are an important thing, though. Like, uh, you ever type your name into Urban Dictionary? You seem pretty hip. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you should call it the dictionary, mate. He loves the slang, look at him, he loves it. <laughs> What'd you get? That's all right. That's all right. Well, my friends type their names and it always worked out very well for them. Like my friend James, just a cool guy, likes to get laid. I thought, okay, that's pretty decent. My friend Chris, god of sex. I was thinking, okay, I can get on the self esteem as well. I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to do fucking Horatio. I went for my middle name, Beresford. Um, <laughs> and, um,. And this is genuinely the first result. Like, I exaggerate some stuff on stage. But you can search this up in the break. This is genuinely the first result for Beresford on Urban Dictionary. Beresford. Middle name for a cunt. <laughs> no example, not need. I think the point came across pretty well. Um, okay, I think I got you guys a bit more inside of self-deprecation. It's just, this next bit can, um, you can divide the room. So... Respect my honesty and get on board early. Um, I don't know how to... Okay, I think a lot of comedians at the moment are talking about uh, political correctness in comedy. And I think... Um, and I, do ge I think in general, I think political correctness is a, is a good thing. I think we move to more inclusive society. One that's, one that's better for all of us. But... But I'd be like... But I do miss calling people gay lords. And like, look, I know it's bad. It's not good. It's terrible. It's an awful thing to say. But can we stop pretending it wasn't the funniest thing to say when you were a kid? Nice haircut, Ryan, you massive gay lord. Just comes out of the mouth perfectly. Because he wasn't just gay, was he? He was lord of the gays. <laughs> you know, he held an incredibly powerful position in the feudal system the gays are still using to this day. But like, I'd rather be a gay lord than a gay peasant. It's a compliment, if anything. So you guys, your woke Greenwich faces thinking that's a bit, it's a little bit harsh calling Ryan a gay lord. How do you know he's a gay lord? But I actually do know he's a gay lord. You're verified, because um, one time maths I turned to him and said, uh, gay lord says what? And quick as a flash, he goes, your homophobic bullying is ruining my life. <laughs> Classic gay lord, am I right, guys? No, lost it at the end, that's fair enough. Um, okay, I've got about just a bit enough time to do, um, do a few impressions. You guys ready for these? Yeah, you don't really have a choice, so, but get... Okay. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. That's my Uncle Keith. Um, he did, he's a fucking deviant. Okay, well, if you didn't like that one, you're going to hate the rest, so really strap in. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, when do they... When do they stick this shit up? Oh, guess I'll have to go wrap... 
What do you mean we can't go round? How fucking long is it? That was my impression of a disgruntled Mongolian raider in the Great Wall of China for the first time. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I've gone over my time actually, so I'm really sorry. I had to leave it there. But I've been a racial good. Thank you very much. <laughs>